What's up, everyone, and welcome in to this unboxing of Thrustmaster's TCA Captain Pack X. First, I have to give a huge shout out to Thrustmaster for sending me this product. I've had my eyes on this for a very long time. I'm a huge Airbus guy on stream, as much as you know, and I am so excited to use this. I think it's really going to level up my experience. So thank you, Thrustmaster, for sending me this. And with that, let's jump right into the unboxing. All right, let's hop right into it. So we open up the box here. And you're greeted with uh, a nice little informative sheet on what is included. And uh, wow, they actually really do uh, cover up quite a bit of the functionality here, which is awesome. Uh, shows different kinds of connections, the rudder pedals, peripheries that you can add, as well as stands, and the ability to add two more thrust levers uh, if you wanted to do a 747 or uh, any kind of four engine aircraft. This will work on Boeing and Airbus, even though it is specifically branded and uh, a one-to-one -one replica of the Airbus systems. So this is really nice uh, and informative. And remove before flight. I like that, that's pretty nifty. So let's slide this on out. Let's see what we have inside. And there we go. We have our thrust. Oh, this is so cool. Uh, thrust and our yoke. Also comes with uh, some extra pieces because this uh, yoke is ambidextrous so it can switch from left to right. Some USB cables as well as some uh, extra ribbons uh, that are used for adding and expanding the, uh, your thrust. So if you wanted to go with a four engine aircraft. And that is what comes in the box. And let's just hop right in. Plastic off. And right off the top, I will uh, mention the weight and the feeling is good. It feels like a substantial piece of hardware. And that is the TCA Captain's Pack right there. And I am so excited for this. As you can see, uh, we'll start with the yoke. Uh, this is set up in a uh, left-hand configuration for uh, the captain. So um, if you wanted to use this as a first officer, these two buttons switch, and you can uh, use it that way as well. And that's what these extra pieces are, are the additional side switches. So good for lefties and righties. You have a, a thrust slider on the bottom. So if you just bought the yoke, uh, which many people do, you can still control your uh, thrust and your reverse. And there is a detent on that to let you know where you're at. On the sides, you can see quite a few buttons, um, Xbox buttons. So if you fly Microsoft Flight Simulator on Xbox, you can use this. And these are also mappable on Windows. So if you use Microsoft Flight Simulator on uh, Windows computer, you can map these to whatever you'd like. Um, feeling is nice. There is a uh, it's good tension and very smooth. Very excited to use this. Uh, and then lastly, on the top, some classic Xbox buttons. So uh, again, if you are using this on Xbox, full functionality. Uh, extra USB ins for peripheries and then the USB out, which goes to your computer, obviously. Uh, you can switch this from PC to Xbox. Obviously, we're using PC on my channel, so I'll switch that to PC. And then there's an audio jack. Very nice. And the unit just feels very sturdy. It's very nice. Lastly, it does have the uh, left and right twist for uh, steering with your nose wheel. So um, 
it has a nice little knob at the bottom here, a little switch to disable that. So if you do have rudder pedals, uh, you can disable the twist and you won't have to worry about that. We don't have rudder pedals, so we will absolutely be using the twist feature. And then moving on to the thrust unit. And right off the bat, just got to say it looks very in-depth. It has a ton of functions. Uh, we'll start with the left. You have your speed brake. And those have detents as well, so you know where you're at. You have landing gear up and down. Your auto brake switch, which feels very good. Very snappy. Your engine on and off switches. And your engine mode selector. And then two more buttons at the bottom here, which are mappable. You have your, obviously you have your thrust levers with detents. And then also you have your rever reverse switches. And then that locks you into your reverse and then they snap back out when you go back out. On the right side, you have your flaps and rudder trim. Clear your rudder trim is the button there. And then parking brake. Really just a great piece here. Has a lot of functionality, so you really get more immersed in your uh, flight simulator. Really excited, again. Uh, on the bottom here, you can see as well, there is a switch. So if you do go from a 1, 2 configuration to a 1, 2, 3, and 4, uh, you can set that at the bottom. A few last things. The um, tension adjustments are on each of these screws. So if you feel like these move a little too easy, uh, you can tighten them up. You have your network cable and then your USB cable um, for connecting. And then lastly at the bottom, you are able to disable the uh, detents um, on each of the levers. So if you don't want to feel the, the switching, you know, the, uh, the bumps, you can definitely disable that. Uh, and that's how you do it there. And then if you expand, you can see these screws here. Very easy to expand the unit to a 3-4 engine uh, configuration. Lastly, uh, on the side here, you have your uh, auto throttle disconnect. And, uh, and if also you didn't want to use this for the reverser, which is commercial aviation, uh, you can disable that there. So that is the, uh, the whole shabam, the whole unit. Uh, I'm so excited to use this. And uh, at the end of this video, I will include a video of me landing and using this uh, in stream. And I hope you uh, enjoy it. Okay, so that concludes the unboxing of Thrustmasters TCA Captain Pack X. I have to say, I'm really impressed with the quality and feel of the devices. And I'm really excited to use this on stream. Another shout out to the Thrustmaster team for sending this to me. Uh, so that I can use this on stream and share my experiences with you. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, a subscription, and follow my Cool Joe channel on Twitch. Until next time, I'm Cool Joe 7 See ya. Four hundred. Three hundred. Hundred above. Minimum fifty, thirty, twenty, ten, five.